then, let's get this done. The sword of might! It's time to end this! <sighs> You're pretty strong. Take that! I'll assist you. <sighs> You're pretty <sighs> strong. You should have expected this. So this is the area where the flouch trout usually shows up. I don't see anything. The waters are really calm. Maybe we can pass through without any trouble. Ah! What was that?
can use this! Hmm. Now what am I supposed Here to I do? go! Red ha! Uh, what should I do? Stay alert! Didn't feel a thing! The Sword of Judgment! Sword of Judgment! Show you no mercy! Behold! The play dance of doom! Rise to the heavens! This is still not enough. Go all out. And done. Looks like it's over. Now then, let's get this done. You're pretty strong. It's time to end this. Uh, what? Stay alert. <laughs> What oh no, you don't. Didn't feel a thing. Yeah. Didn't feel a thing. Uh, You're mm. pretty strong. Now what am I supposed to do? It's time to end this. You gotta be <laughs> kidding. Yeah. Hooray! I won.
like it's over. Should have expected this.
pretty strong. Uh, and done. You're pretty strong! <laughs> Let's begin. Uh, what should I do? Didn't Ow! feel a thing. Here, even though it's so cold. Say hello. Uh, um, excuse me. Hello. Y yeah, hello. Um, who are you? I'm Totori. What's your name? I'm Piana. Where did you come from, Totori? I came from a village called Alanya. It's really far away. 
I came on a ship. I guess you wouldn't know it by name. Well, um, Alanya? Really? From Alanya Village? Um, yes. Do you know my village, Piana? Uh-oh. Grandma! Grandma! Wait. If she knows my village, maybe... I should ask around, but I only see strangers here. Oh, a grave! Why is one over here all by itself? Because we are extremely indebted to her. Ah! Oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have... Don't worry. If you are from Alanya Village, you may know her. Well, what do you mean? Uh, um, whose grave is this? Gisela. It's Gisela Helmold's grave. Huh? Well, what are you saying? You resemble her in some ways. She did mention having two daughters of her own. I can only offer my deepest condolences. Please stop! You're joking, right? This isn't funny. I'm sorry. Please don't. You're teasing me. Please tell me this isn't true. No. I thought about it. I thought about how she could be. No matter how much I looked for her, I couldn't find her. So I thought, maybe, just maybe, Totori crying. Tell her to come to my hut after she calms down. She's a precious guest of ours. Hmm? Okay. Do you feel better now? I'm sorry for making a scene. That's all right. It's only natural. I suppose I haven't introduced myself. I am Pilka. Some consider me the leader of this village. Oh, I'm Totori. I'm Mom's... I mean, I'm... Totori, I've heard of you. I must tell you about Gisela, about her last moments. You don't want to hear about it now? We can do this when you're ready. I'm fine. Please tell me. Hmm. Let's start with her arrival here. I forget how many years ago it was. This village has absolutely no contact with anywhere else. As far as I know, Gisela was our first visitor. It caused quite a commotion in the village at the time. What's the matter? Grandma, we have trouble. Someone not from our village is here. A person? That's impossible. Who would come to this village in the middle of nowhere? It's true, and she won't listen to anything we have to say. Hey, you the leader here? N -n no! Don't come in here without permission. It's fine. Who are you? And why have you come here? Oh, I'm Gisela. Nice to meet you. Anyway, do you have food? I've barely had anything to eat for about two weeks now. Ah, I didn't think there would be a village here. My hometown's in the boonies, too. That doesn't answer my question. I asked why you are here. Huh? I asked for some food. 
Come on, Grandma, you senile or something? I'm not that old yet. Man, that was pretty rough. You know, the flouch trout or whatever. I almost got it, but it busted a hole in my ship before running away. I went through hell to make it all this way. The spot that busted open must be where I helped build. I guess I shouldn't have done it without asking. There's no other reason why my husband's ship would sink. Just shut it. Listen to me. What else do you want to know? I just want some food. Food. I'm hungry. Food. After that rambling, now this? Go and bring her something. Sure. Yay! I love you, old lady. You're nice. Shut up. Just be quiet for a minute. Everything about her was extraordinary from the moment we met. I'm sorry. She asked if she could stay until she finished repairing her ship. I didn't have the will to refuse. Because of her personality, she fit into the village right away. She was terrible with detailed work, so the repairs were painfully slow. After about six months passed, Another earthquake? Those seem pretty common here. Why so quiet all of a sudden? You got wax in your ears, but are you growing wax on your tongue too? Stop treating me like an old hag! And what does that even mean? Wax on my tongue? You must leave this village, Gisela. Now. Huh? What's up with that? You promised I could stay until my ship's repaired. I guess it's taking a while since I fix one thing, but break two more every single time. The circumstances have changed. Then I'd like these circumstances explained. I'll consider leaving, depending on what they are. This is no ordinary earthquake. An earthquake is an earthquake. Don't tell me. You the superstitious kind? Like you think there's a giant monster causing it underground or something? Just shut up and listen. Do you see the tower to the north of our village? The devil that caused mass destruction across this continent is sealed there. These earthquakes grow in number every few decades when the devil tries to free itself. What? The devil? You really are senile. This is serious. Fine, fine. You're so touchy. I just have a tendency to joke around when things get too serious. Clearly. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. This village is inhabited by those who will be sacrifices for that devil. Sacrifice? I don't like how that sounds. No matter how many seals are placed, it escapes from the tower once every few decades. Each time, nearby towns and villages fall prey to its bloodlust. That's when it was decided to offer sacrifices to reduce the damage done. Female babies are abandoned near the tower each year to keep the awakened devil's hunger sated. Ah, oh, so all of you are those abandoned babies? Get it now. Yeah. Now that you mention it, I don't see any men in the village. You just noticed? My eyes see no man other than my husband. Well, I think I get your situation. If you do, then please leave before you get caught up in all this. No. What? You said you'd leave if you heard the circumstances. No, I didn't. I said I'd leave depending on what they are. I don't get it. You were born to be eaten, and you still stay here? You women should just get up and leave. If we leave, others will replace us. Well, aren't you the martyr? It's nothing of the sort. We have nowhere to run to. We don't know where we were born. We're all women here. Even if we wander off, 
we'd likely starve to death in the nearby woods. What's being a woman got to do with it? I can travel across an entire country easily. We're not the same as you. Just because I can turn my back to it, doesn't mean I want to. Fine, I'll take a stab at it. Where are you going? I'm going to beat up your devil. I haven't fought in a while, so I look forward to it. What? Stop! You'll just die in vain! Be quiet. I don't like you. What? If you wanted to die on your own, I wouldn't stop you. You're probably close to death anyway. But everyone will get eaten, right? You don't have the right to decide if they should live or die. It's been our destiny since birth. Screw that. You have young kids and babies here too. As a mother of two daughters, I can't just stand by and watch this. Daughters? You? You want to hear about them? They got all the good bits from my husband and me. Their names are Tsetsi and Totori. They're really nice and good-natured. Every time I go home, they hug and squeeze me real tight. Oh, they're just so adorable. You seem the type to spoil your children. If you saw my kids, you wouldn't be able to help yourself either. Oh, now I miss them. It's time for me to beat up that devil, fix my ship, and get back home. Wait! If you have children, it's all the more reason to... She's gone. The fool. Then, was Mom killed by the devil? If she died, none of us would be here. Then she won? Gisela said it was a tie. She couldn't defeat it. But she managed to push it back into the tower. Long, long ago, entire nations banded together to seal it. She managed to do it alone. But... Wow, this sucks. Ugh, oh, two ties in a row. The great Gisela sure has got rusty over the years. Stop talking! Can't you shut up even at a time like this? I'll die even if I shut up. I'll feel better if I keep talking. You're not going to die. The villagers owe you their lives. We will save you. Don't make promises you can't keep. None of you are doctors here. <coughs> oh, that's the one. I won't last much longer. Don't give up! After all that big talk, at least live up to your words. Well, you people gave up without ever trying. As for me, I got to do whatever I wanted in life. Ah, it won't stop bleeding. What am I supposed to do? Hey, old lady, do me a favor. I said shut your mouth. Well, that's pretty cold. I'm the woman who saved your life. Shouldn't you be listening to me? Fine. What is it? Can you take me to the ship I came on? I can barely walk on my own. What are you going to do there? Leave me there. I don't want to be buried in a village full of irritating people. If I'm going to die, I'd rather die where I can smell the man I love. <laughs> I sound like a pure little maiden. If it makes your face twist in pain, I'd love to bury you in this village. Come on, don't be like that. I'm serious here. Is there anything else I can do for you? One more. Pass down the feats of the legendary adventurer, Gisela Helmold, for generations. A tall tale about some punk adventurer with a bad mouth. It'll make a terrible story for the children. <laughs> you got quite the mouth on you, old hag. Your abrasive personality is contagious. I better get you out of here, quick. Yes, please. I doubt I'll last any longer. Be patient with me just a little more. I'll gather the villagers right now. So that grave... Everyone built it in Gisela's memory. Her body is still somewhere out at sea. I see. I'm sorry. 
Your mother died for our sake. I don't expect any forgiveness. <laughs> Are you laughing? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm really sad, but I just... Mom was messing around the entire time, and it just seems so funny. I suppose. Looking back, your mother didn't even give us time to mourn. I guess not. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I shouldn't laugh. But it's just so like her to end up that way. <laughs> oh, it's just... so funny. I'm sorry, but can I cry a little more? Go ahead. Cry as much as you want. Thank you. <laughs> Mom. Mom. <laughs>